<laughs> I've had the itch to try out one of the new scenarios for The Sims 4 for quite some time now, and the biggest dilemma that I've come across is I truly don't know which one to play with, but I think, I think I've narrowed it down. I know a lot of people right now are really enjoying the Alien Stole My Parents and watching people have fun with these scenarios. Definitely gave me a little FOMO moment, fear of missing out. I haven't seen the welcome scenarios before. They're a little bit different than the challenge scenarios where you create the sims with the welcome scenarios they give you a household to play with so we have a stuck in their shadow we also have new in town and then the one that stood out the most to me was a parenting predicament because as you guys know i'm a mom so the reward is going to be a retrading potion and the difficulty is a beginner because you know your girls definitely uh fresh meat when it comes to these scenarios and we get to play with the martinez household so the description reads two happy-go-lucky young parents are at a loss for what to do with their rambunctious unruly children can they cultivate the right environment for their children to thrive and support their children towards becoming teenagers on the right track and if we hover over the scenario card it actually gives us more information on that scenario for instance we will get to kind of get a little sneak peek preview on the household members so we have Jennifer she's a wife a mother and writer she actually shares the same name as me and then we have Pablo who's a husband father and artiste Leonardo who is a rebunctious smart child and then little Sophia who kind of takes after her father. She's artistic, but also shy. And then the story endings could possibly be that we raised responsible teenagers, <laughs> raised wild teenagers, Leonardo overachieves and Sophia slacks off, or Sophia overachieves and Leonardo slacks off. But let me know in the comments down below, what do you predict our outcome is going to be? Of course, the million dollar question, which season should we start in? I think I'm gonna go with fall this time. Typically, I always go with summer. I don't know what it is. I think it's like the weather and the lighting. I really quite like it. Um, and then for fall and winter, it's just dark and gloomy. But for some reason, with the main focus being on education and raising our kids, I feel like fall is the beginning of the school year. So it just makes more sense. I don't think I've ever asked you guys before, but what season do you typically start with? So we're going to go into Willow Creek because I'm actually playing pretty vanilla. I only have MC Command Center in and UI cheats for obvious reasons. And then I think like the four column cast mod just to make life a little bit easier. But we have 40,000 civilians to start with, which actually sounds like a lot, but it's not. Now, I was going to have them move to the Rindle Rose, like it was a thought. Uh, but I'm thinking at the Crick Cabana, even though it is significantly lower than the civilians we have, it might actually be a better fit because there isn't as much going on inside. Here's another glimpse at the scenario details. We kind of went over those already, but I'm going to let you guys take a little look at them. Uh, there's also like a little bonus reward too, which I wasn't aware of. And over to my left we have a list of goals for the scenario so we need to buy enough beds for the Martinez family we need to also buy a dining table at least one kids toy and to give Sophia and Leonardo a bath or a shower which in our case it's gonna be a shower because that's the only the only thing we have um, I'm a little confused as to why we need to need to buy a dining table because we have one and it fits kind of like this little bump out in the house I don't know but I definitely know that I need to like kind of fix up their 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 house a little bit because it's just looking very 2014 off camera really quick I really had to bring the home up to speed I was able to do a few things that definitely like satiated some of the goals that we had in this list for instance I was able to give not only the kids their own bed but also their own bedrooms and even though everything is very minimalistically styled if that's even a word or a phrase I like it I think it, look, it looks pretty cute it turned out very nice um, and then also as you guys know the sims do have hobbies right and so for for Pablo he actually is an aspiring artist. It's not his main gig because he's a team mascot, actually, and he works in the athletic career, but it's like his side hustle. So even though that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I also like that it is more of like a side um, hobby, maybe not even a hustle, than it is his main job. However, Jennifer is a freelance writer through and through. I don't know if I'm supposed to focus on these goals or I'm supposed to focus on the children, but I did pick her up a laptop and I love, I 
love how Leonardo is given lip right now. <laughs> is grounding the children on this list? But a lot of the goals just pertain to taking care of the children and some optional goals that we have in here are to like grab leftovers and um, we assigned the beds. I think we need to have Leonardo play with a toy. He is just nasty as a hell. Like, oh my freaking God. This kid is a terror. I'm not even lying. We're gonna have him kind of chillax a little bit. He's gonna come into here and play with Mr. Blue Bear. He also wants to make an enemy. Oh my God, I'm actually really scared. Um, So another goal of ours is to make sure the kids get a good night's sleep. Is Sophia hungry at all? Um, Both of the kids are hotheads. Looks like Sophia is a C student and um, so is Leonardo. He is a little hungry too. So we're gonna come over here and get some leftovers as an optional task. We need to have Jennifer and Leonardo talk to the kids. So we're gonna cut them come over here and uh, try to like interact with them a little bit too. I actually didn't see the relationship scores to see how close they are. Uh, they have very low relationships with their children. So we definitely need to work on that for sure. I almost forgot to have the kids do homework. And every time I try to interact with Leonardo, he's mean, like constantly. This is going to be a lot harder than I anticipated. Like these aren't any normal children. These are the types of children that really test your love and patience. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I just caught Pablo out here having a moment and taking it out on the trash can. And I don't think I understood the severity of this scenario. I heard you're new to the neighborhood and I know you're still getting adjusted, but Sophia and Leonardo are getting D's in their classes. I can tell that you're smart, creative kids, so I can only conclude that the problem must be with their parents. Help your children realize their potential. I've got my eyes on them and on the two of you, Martinez. We do things a bit differently here in my school district and I didn't win 12 Principal of the Year awards by tolerating unruly children and unconcerned parents. I know if I received a phone call like that, I would probably feel like the biggest piece of crap on earth because that principal really just ripped me a new one. Now, I found some discrepancies in this scenario. It's really interesting. I actually had to go back and uh, take a little peek because some of the details weren't necessarily adding up. First and foremost, our kids do not have Ds in our classes. They actually have Cs, so that's a little annoying. I'm kind of tempted to actually make them all have Ds, but I don't know. We'll have to see if, if that's something I want to commit to at this point. But um, another thing, too, is that going back into the scenario notes, I am pretty sure that Sophia was supposed to be the artistic prodigy and it was um, Leonardo that was supposed to be the rambunctious scamp. And as you all can see, the aspirations are swapped. And also Sophia was supposed to be a shy sim. So I think I'm going to have a couple things to kind of play around with and fix. But we do have a brand new set of goals. So we have to actually talk to Sophia. Sophia and Leonardo about school, get them focused, get their grades to about a B average, and then we also need to purchase a chess table. As if things weren't hard enough already, I actually lowered our simoleons to 1300 for the household funds and decided to put the lifespan on short. I know, what am I doing? Late payment. Jennifer's discovered that the hardest part of being a freelancer is getting paid on time. She can either hound the company for money or just move on and not waste any more time that could be used working. Oh honey, no, no, no. No, no, no. We are begging for that paycheck. Just because Jennifer earned the money, that doesn't mean that she won't have to beg now and then. Ah, uh, freelance work. Fortunately, in this case, she is able to get what she is owed. I had some pretty high hopes that these sour biscuits would get lost after school and not know their way home, but here we are! Another day in paradise! Alright, so I have them working on their school projects, and I gave in... I totally gave in. Um, I did lower their grade to whatever the principal said, which is apparently a D student, making things a lot harder. We have about five sim days to accomplish this. I might be a little more lenient with it. Like I said, I don't know if this is time barred. Um, Pablo has been outside fishing. I guess that's something he likes to do on his pastime. He's an outdoor enthusiast. He loves to be able to get the fresh air. In fact, he's actually been doing it for a very freaking long time now. And he discovered that he actually does indeed like fishing. So we're gonna have him dig up this little um, fossil and then I'm gonna have him actually get dinner started. I didn't turn off my notifications. <laughs> so you're probably seeing like all these things pop up, but we're gonna have him serve some dinner. He actually has a higher cooking skill than I think I do or Jennifer does. I'm like pretending she's me. Um, but we're gonna make some vegetable dumplings. Another thing about Pablo, he is indeed a vegetable vegetarian. I have bust the dust enabled. So I'm thinking a couple things actually. I do want to purchase some focusing decor and I want to grab a vacuum if that's possible. So 
Let me see how much a vacuum would cost us. An upright vacuum, the cheapest of the cheap is 180 simoleons. I actually think that's okay. We'll snag one of those. Where should I put it? Uh, we'll put it over here. And then I want to change the swatch too. So I think actually this one's really cute. There's a few different ways that we get the kids focused, but I'm going to cheat because time is of the essence. I'm going to grab one of the time travelers into the future award plum bob lamps. And I think I'm going to put this in the kitchen because not only does it match our aesthetic, it actually is where the kids do do their homework. So this will definitely help get them in the mood. And we only need to actually get one of the children uh, into the mood. So we're coming into the kitchen making some dinner. The kids are working on their school projects. I feel like this is going to give us a little boost, a little extra credit. And we're actually really, really close to getting um, a C grade. So Jen just came home and she earned a little bit of money. Nothing too crazy. She does need to work on her writing skill and also uh, writing a book. So I think while hubby is making dinner, we are going to write a children's book. Literally no idea why Jennifer wasn't able to get to her laptop. So now she has a handy dandy new desk hopefully she won't have any issues pablo is out here talking to the kids about school and we are just gonna name this book whatever the heck she came up with and oh my goodness make sophia and leonardo do their homework I'm gonna come over to the kitchen i'm gonna enable the emotional aura and then i'm gonna have um i'm gonna have leonardo come sit down okay and then we are going to have him start doing his homework Hopefully this will get him focused. Okay, so right now he's really uncomfortable because he's wet. <laughs> oh, of course. I want to hurt somebody. If they change their clothes, does that actually help? <gasps> you're you're serious. You're serious. It actually worked, but I think it's Sophia that is the one that needs to get focused. Thankfully, last night I was able to get Sophia into a focused mood. And then this morning we actually had to send them both to school feeling focused. Oh my gosh. I think this is probably the goal I dislike the most. Right now we have dad doing some household chores. He's just kind of vacuuming up the house and stuff. And and then I think I'm also going to have him come out and empty out the trash. He does have work in about a couple hours, so we'll make sure that he's all ready for that as well. He's feeling super good right now. And I think we got a phone call. Leonardo started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. What a natural eater. And you're still in denial. Literally in denial. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. You guys are definitely the freaking problem. School projects got worked on a little bit this morning. Two more hours until we start work. Let's just clean up some of these dishes. Dishes. Oh wait, this is done. We can actually sell this to the collector for 98 simoleons. Beat reporters, big break. Jennifer looks up to see her editor leaning against the frame of her office door with a sly grin on his face. In his hand, he is clutching a paper and asks, do you know what I've got here? Jennifer shakes her head no, unsure what her editor is being so coy about. It's from the head office of the Post Times. They've specifically requested your help in writing a retrospective on GeekCon for a story that will run internationally. What do you say? Having an article published internationally would surely be a boon for Jennifer, putting money in her pocket and increased recognition behind her name. Is she actually ready for the higher level of scrutiny that it'll bring? So we have two choices. We can write the article, which will gain fame and money, or we can decline the opportunity. I'm sorry, this is the break that Jennifer has been waiting for. We are going to seize this opportunity with both hands. Small fish in a big pond. It wasn't the first time Jennifer had written about GeekCon, but it had always been for smaller publications. Strengthened by her expertise on the subject, words streamed from her consciousness onto the monitor. As she triumphantly hit upload, she poured herself a glass of soft shadow to celebrate the occasion. Curious, she refreshed the article to see if any comments had been posted. Big mistake. Who are all these nerds challenging the perspective of a no-name writer? Well, Jennifer won't be unknown any longer. Hard work truly pays off because now both Leonardo and Sophia officially have C grades. That was actually really easy, but I think it's going to get a hell of a lot harder. Thankfully for grade tasks, we're pretty much done other than homework. And oh no, oh no, autonomously, Leonardo was just about to destroy his sister's school project. We're going to have him kind of cool down with a little shower. And then I think I'm going to just let him relax a little bit. He's feeling the pressure. We're going to have him watch the kids channel. Oh my God, I would have been absolutely destroyed if she would have actually oh he, she was gonna destroy oh 
Oh, they were going to destroy each other's projects because they're feeling um they're feeling they're feeling stressed out because I made them work so hard. OK, I need to have Sophia come out here and she's just going to work carefully. I know she doesn't want to because of obvious reasons, but we really need to uh, keep working on a couple things. I'm very tempted to purchase the chess table, even though like a huge part of me does not want to. So Jennifer just brought home $304 today. She does need to help at least one child with homework. Good job, Sophia. Okay, so we ended up getting some extra credit because we finished our school project super duper quick. I'm so happy about that. Um, let's Let's see, I think we could probably move on to homework, which I'm not that excited about, but we're going to have Jennifer come over here and she is going to sit at the table and help Sophia. Now that we're feeling a little bit better, we are tired, obviously. We went to bed really late. I'm going to have, um, I'm going to see if I can have uh, Leonardo also finish his project. Like my goal is to get both of them in Tatum to like reach their full potential. I don't know how that's gonna happen. They're both, they're both making it very like hard for me. Oh, and we leveled up on our mental skill too. I think dad just got home. He's a team mascot and I was so confused why he went to work like this. How much is a chess table? We might actually have the money for it, but I don't want to necessarily pay a large amount right now. Uh, we need to have Leonardo do his homework too. This is definitely a lot harder. A really good scenario too to see what it takes to be a good parent in The Sims 4. It kind of almost feels like a parenting class. Wow, it was a lot or it is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be, but I really do struggle with like focusing on my kids. So I might be able to take a few a few tips and tricks with me after this scenario is over. Okay, how's dad feeling? He's doing pretty good. Okay, I think I'm gonna actually have him go to bed a little bit early tonight. And then for Jen, oh, what do you need to do? You need to finish writing your book. You're actually almost due for a promotion. You're a little hungry and you got a bunch of sentiments. You have a sentiment towards Leonardo. I didn't read this. Oh, she, oh, she has a favorite child. <laughs> Still haven't changed to Sophia's tree. I definitely need to work on that. Let me go and look and see how much a chess table would be because that little optional thing doesn't feel so optional when it's just like staring in your face the whole time. The cheapest one we can grab looks like it's going to be around the $450 range. I guess I could just pick up like the chess master. Uh, let's put this right here. And I don't know what kind of outdoor chair I want to grab. Let me go and look really quick and see what is available. Um, okay, let me... All right, this is a new save, so everything kind of looks a little wonky right now. I kind of want to do like a lighter color, I guess. That looks almost white. It could be just the lighting. But yeah, we'll go with that for now, even though the porch is looking a little bit cluttered. I know that a sim probably won't be able to sit here, but like that actually just looks more aesthetically pleasing. What's up, Chuck? Sophia got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She is with the nurse now. Do a thorough health check. <laughs> <laughs> Utterly disrespectful. Pablo may be simply cheering the team on from the sidelines, but he takes the role of defending his team's honor very seriously. And would you believe it? The visiting team's cow mascot is dancing right in the center of the field, tugging on its udders in a show of disrespect. The only thing stopping Pablo from rushing the field and starting a fight is knowing that the stands are packed with innocent children who were just there to enjoy the game. Will Pablo set an example or set the right example? Example. We can either fight the enemy mascot and gain fame, but we'll lose reputation, money, and we'll even be fired. Or we can ignore the mascot's taunts and basically our life will go unchanged. I'm actually going to have Pablo fight the enemy, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Setting an example, in a post-game interview, Pablo was quoted saying, Talk plum, get some. As word that he knocked out the enemy mascot spread amongst the team's fans, the sense of elation didn't last, as the team's CEO both fined him for unethical behavior and then fired him minutes later. Maybe he earned a bad reputation for the fight, but you better believe that cow won't try that stunt again. <laughs> Worth it. I actually think it was and here's why. Like I said from the beginning, Pablo has had this goal to be a painter. He's always had the physique for being in the athletic career, but not the passion. So even though right now we took a big hit, we lost some money and we even lost our job, I think this is going to allow him to kind of work for 
from home now focus on his uh focus on his art artist career and then also spend more time with the kids we are so close to being b students i can almost taste it i'm gonna have the kids have a little bit of fun right now i think what i'm gonna have them both do is maybe just like watch a movie together we're gonna watch uh the lost dogs journey home yeah sure and then um let me see what are some other things that we have to do so right now our main goals are just basically setting the kids focus to school which has been very hard by the way and then making sure our grades to get to level b which i don't think should be that hard so jennifer she's been home all day she's had the day off i'm actually gonna have her do dinner tonight um <laughs> uh i think i think of pablo is a little sad maybe we should have her come in here and and like kiss him on the cheek and hug him and even express like her fondness or actually you know what we're gonna give him a little inside joke we're gonna joke about today even though jennifer would want to be mad at her husband i don't actually think she is well maybe actually a little because now she has a fear of fulfilling wants <laughs> So maybe he shook up the ice a little bit, but of course she is trying to be um, a supportive, a supportive wife. I almost forgot that Jennifer has a couple books that she needs to publish. So let's get over here and self-publish the Never Eat Your Pet Turtle. And then we're also going to publish the one blue shoe tomorrow's also harvest fest which means the kids will not be going to school i'm a little frustrated about that i'm not gonna lie just feeling a little tense i've been doing everything in my power to get this kid to love me and everything i seem to be doing just doesn't seem to be working and i gave him a gift it was a funny gift and it blew up in his face and he liked it every time i ask him to stargaze he actually rejects me I don't get it. Like, I really don't understand. And uh, yeah, now now Pablo is just feeling super duper emotional. His heart is broken and he's currently in an offensive conversation. Like, I don't know what Leonardo's problem is, but uh, he better get it together soon. Oh my God, poor Pablo. I had a revelation this morning. I thought to myself, why don't I actually spend my satisfaction points in the reward store and purchase uh, the focused potion so that I could actually send my kids to school focused. Aha, sometimes you do gotta cheat the system. Thankfully, um, Leonardo, he does have just enough points to get the potion. I am actually working on Sophia getting the potion next, but also today was supposed to be harvest fast and I had to push that to Saturday because I only had like two days until um, the kids were going to age up into teens and then I had to like make the lifespan on normal. This is not something you could do on a short lifespan. I mean, maybe if I actually didn't go with what the story was telling me in terms of like the degrade, I could have made that happen. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I was playing like, you know, like on the hardest setting as possible. And let me tell you, this is a very fun challenge, but it is not easy by any means. So thankfully, we're still feeling a little inspired um and we can go and draw one more let's draw a vehicle i think i'm gonna actually even maybe display these in sophia's room when i get a second but we need to have leonardo wake up school starts in just a little bit we're gonna come over here and grab that a uh, potion actually nope just kidding i'm gonna wait until he's pretty close to actually hop it on the bus before we grab that um potion or take the potion okay so let's see what else we got going on here i think we're in a pretty good mood pretty good headspace so we could probably get that b grade today um i have two more days to make that happen anything else i'm like making sure i got all my ducks in a row because i'm feeling nervous 55 minutes all right so let's take that potion <laughs> i know this is cheating but i just you know what? actually it's not i'm 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 outsourcing here we just completed our next milestone i actually think we completed that first level all together <gasps> What? Play with three toys. Achieve level five. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna freaking freak out. Play with three toys. All right. Play with the triceratops. Play with the freaking purple whatever the heck. Play with the damn chompy monster. Okay. Just do something, girl. Just do something. I think the desperation has finally set in. I finally got both kids to a B grade. I'm very excited about that. But Friday, Friday is like the last opportunity that I have to get them to an A grade. Um, until the weekend head. And I don't know what that looks like exactly because I don't have a lot more time. So right now I'm working on their mental oh. skill. Oh, they do need to go to bed very soon. Um, let me see. Sophia's very close. She's super duper close actually to reaching level four of the mental skill, which is great because that's actually one of the achievements she needs to be able to get her next um, bump in, in her grades. So 
I'm gonna have her at least get to level four, which she has done. We're gonna go to sleep tomorrow. I will get her that potion. I was so upset. I was so pissed that I wasn't able to get her that potion because I was very close. But now, um, clearly, we have enough. So before I forget to buy that, I'm gonna grab her one. And now we only have 155 points left. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, we're so close to reaching level two. Like, I think what I'm going to do is see if I can push the limits. Okay, he's far too uncomfortable. He's super tired, very hungry. Uh, maybe I can just have him to go to bed now. And then what I can do is in the morning, I can have him come back out and fish. Uh, he didn't even want to eat dinner, poor thing. He is just so exhausted. But I did have uh, Pablo work on some paintings and... Apparently, he was feeling a little aggressive this morning, so he uh, he took it out on the canvas. <laughs> poster improvement. Leonardo is super excited to turn in his dolphin poster. Illustrations, photos, fun facts, it has it all. But all the other kids are crowding around another kid's poster, which shimmers with silvery detail. Leonardo could say he forgot his and then add more stuff at recess so we can lie and improve it or we can do the right thing and turn it in on time. Leonardo decides to take pride in his work and not risk getting a late mark, brandishing his poster, he turns it in, earning a flaccid smile from the teacher and a bright red bee. So close, but yet still so far away. I really thought this was just going to be like a one and done scenario gameplay slash, but I definitely think there's going to be two parts to this scenario. Ultimately, because I'm actually kind of getting a little attached to this family and I want to make this experience meaningful for both me and them. Uh, so we finished up the week with a B grade. Not too bad. Super close to reaching that A that we've been after. I think I'll be able to do it within the next four days. I hope, fingers crossed, we have so much more work to do. Um, in fact, we actually got some brand new goals. So we now need to complete child aspirations. We need to reach level five in one of the skills. We need to complete our child aspirations. Then there's some optionals here. So we can take Sophia and Leonardo to the library, to the park. Uh, we can also befriend another child. I think those are things that I would like to do because again, I really do want to make this like a thorough experience so since tomorrow is harvest fest i did pick up a little a little box here a little deco box and we're gonna select holiday decorations wasn't there the thing where you could like do you like auto decorations? I feel like that's like no way. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh my God. I swear like this whole experience is making my brain numb. <laughs> I'm just like overwhelmed. I don't, I don't play like this. Uh, but oh, another thing I wanted to share with you. Oh my God. These, these parents are a handful too. Like I wasn't expecting all this, but um, Jennifer, she actually got a uh, emotion bomb. So I don't know exactly what is going to happen here. I don't know if it went away or what, but um, yeah, she just got an emotion bomb. She's having a really hard time controlling her emotions. There's just been so much going on between her husband losing her job or his job and like um, with her her writing. Uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs with that. Like her books haven't been doing as good as she thought they were. Um, she did just complete a sad book and it's called No Exit Ramp. <laughs> My mind can wander. Uh, we're going to have her go over here and publish that book. I think if we can get her fame up because she did lose a fame level, then we would be able to actually see that quirk in progress. But I, I don't I don't I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So I'm going to have her work on it. And then we um, I thought we published I thought we published this book, too. See, I was wondering why her royalties were so low. And then I had the kids come out here and carve pumpkins because, you know, I'm trying to be a good parent. Like, I'm actually trying to learn from this experience and stuff just rush through this scenario <laughs> um and it turned out to be a little cockeyed pumpkin is it me or like a whole bunch of kids just you know wandering wandering past us on the street actually i'm gonna take this opportunity and i'm gonna come over here and give uh what's her name I'm going to give Elsa, 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 okay, Elsa a friendly introduction because up until this point, we actually do not know any kids at all, but I will say that surprisingly speaking, a lot of things have been positive. Like the kids, they've really started to turn 
around their their character values especially um i would say especially leonardo although his manners are just i think they're always going to be like this but there's definitely some progress there again this is not a scenario that you're going to complete in just one sitting i mean you could <laughs> but it's a little there's a little more to that um oh i did i have him scrap the carving <gasps> Did his carving not come out good? Or no, it was her carving. Okay, actually, I need her to resume this really quick. And then I'm going to have Elsa go home because I just wanted to say hi to her and then kind of, you know, um, begin that friendship. Oh, God, look at the freaking bathroom. Uh, I wanted to do one last thing to the house. I want, like, some sparklies. Like, I want the Eve spandrels, freeze, frizzes, foundation. I want some glitter. I don't know why, but I feel like glitter just makes everything so much better. Um, let's do orange. Do we have anything that's a little more fall-esque, actually? Uh, these ones would kind of work. Or, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Do I want, like, the, the, the twinkle lights? Let's do twinkle lights, actually. I think that might look... That might look really good. Let's give it a go and see what ends up happening. I have this for the foundation because our foundation is quite high. It should look pretty good. Oh, yeah, I love that. Okay, super cute. Hate these pumpkins, but it's okay. I'm just going to... I can't actually... Oh, it's because I have... I get it. It's because I have freaking move objects on that they're not going to clip to the ground. So I'll have to fix that before the next part. But... Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end the first part of this scenario here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any sort of feedback, criticisms, or just general advice on how I can make this go a lot faster, let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. All that we have is each other now.